Adding a chart is totally simple. You either click the Charts drop-down in the toolbar and select your chart from this sort of visual chooser, and we're just going to pick the top one here, or you can go to the menu bar, click Insert, go to Charts, and choose from the spelled out list. And they're the same options. One way is written out and one way is visual. So we've already added a chart, so I'm not going to do it again. But there's that. Uh, a chart you can manipulate just like any other object. You can move it. You see the grid lines. You can resize it. You can duplicate it. Once you have the chart, there's a palette for it in the inspector, and that is the chart inspector right here. Um, there aren't that many options until you click Edit Data, and that allows you to edit the data right here. So you can add and delete rows of data. You can change terms. It's not quite as convenient as a spreadsheet, but it works fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this approach. Uh, you can change where the key goes. We're going to move it below. There you go. A simple, straightforward, easy chart. But let's say you want to add a chart from another program, since that is, uh, in many ways, more convenient, especially if your data is already in a spreadsheet. So first, Google Docs. We'll use the same data set that we used for the table demonstration. So we select our data, make a chart. We're going to use basic column chart, like what we were just using. We're going to insert, select it. copy it, go back, and here we are, we're going to paste. It did not work. Instead, we have what we selected earlier, the uh, dummy chart from within iBooks Author. So, there is a workaround, fortunately. If you click on the chart drop down here and save image, that creates an image called chart1.png. And I'm going to reveal in Finder. I'm going to grab that and go back to where I've got everything else stored. And I'm going to just drag it straight in from the finder into iBooks Author. Now, obviously, there's a big flaw with that method, right? Because this is an image. So I can no longer edit the data. I can resize this. I can do all the things I can do with images, which is kind of neat, make it transparent or, you know, apply masks or whatever. Uh, and I can do anything that I can do with an image, like resize and move and duplicate. But I can't change the data anymore. I would have to go back and export a second image. So that's kind of inconvenient. Also, you'll notice there's no key. Uh, it's just the, bars, the bar graph itself. That's it. That's all you get. Still, it's doable. If your stuff's in um, Google Docs spreadsheet format, that's a you know, pretty easy way to get it out. Now we can go to Apple Numbers, and we're going to create a chart from the same data set that we used in the tables demo. And the drop down is the same. And one nice thing here is that since these are both Apple products, everything looks and feels the same. Menu bar looks the same, the drop downs are similar, it's all quite familiar. The inspector palette similar. And here we've just created a simple chart. We're going to select both the chart and the key. And I'm going to copy, go back to iBooks Author. I'm going to paste. So the chart's there. Okay, there it is. The chart's there. And it's the same chart from iBooks Author, so we can tell that, it, that that worked. Unfortunately, the key did not come across. And even when I copy the key separately, it doesn't seem to want to come across. So you may have to make your own key or add a uh, caption within iBooks Author. And that's not so bad. That's not a deal breaker by any means. But now let's try one more possibility. And... 
just open up some space to put the chart. Oh, whoops. Now we're going to go to Microsoft Excel. We're going to use the same data set from that tables demonstration. I'm going to click the chart, insert chart, select it. and paste it in and this time in a way this is the best of the three uh, it looks great it looks kind of even better than it does in Microsoft Word and we get the key so that's nice that's a that's a big a big difference over bringing in an image from Google Docs or even an improvement over Apple's very own pages is that from Excel we get the key so that can be a big benefit right there so anyway, those are your four basic ways, or well, two basic ways with a few variations among them of bringing in or creating charts for iBooks Author.